Hi there, this is another part for a vintage BSA motorcycle. This is what I was given, it was a bit difficult getting dimensions off it, but I think we managed to. Here we are, three quarter hex S1214 free cutting mild steel. I love it when they drop off that easy, but that one was a little bit too close for comfort. Next part falls off on its own, which is not meant to do. That's why usually I have to tap them with the chuck key to get them to come off. First cut will go down under the hex as usual. I always try and do that. It's a ground edge FC type finishing insert. Working a bit harder than it likes to, which is why the chips are not breaking properly. That finish cut was about where it likes to be. Drop the speed to 1800 for this 9mm drill. I don't know what was the matter with the drill, it just didn't want to feed at the right feed. Feed for a 9mm drill should be around 0.1. I'm feeding this at 0.06 because it just kept complaining of anything higher. I don't know what the problem was, but with 25 to do it was hardly worth worrying about it. This is a full profile insert, so it cuts top and bottom of the thread. No cleaning up the crest of the thread after I finish. If you're wondering why the coolant doesn't appear to be going on the insert properly, it's because it's in the right position for the parting tool, and that's the one that really counts. Here it is, one of the three I use. No chamfer on the back of this part because it needs to be turned around and put in another lathe, you can see. Yeah, it was scrap, nasty dint in the thread. That's why I don't like them dropping off. Just looking at it from the other end. know if you've got rid of the hex when you do the facing cut. If it doesn't make a noise, you know you've got under the hex. See that feed and cut is too big for that insert. This is about approaching what it should do and you can see it's actually breaking the chip. I think the limit is a 0.5 depth of cut with 0.05 feed. That was just out of its range. In the other part that I made for the BSA, I mentioned that the drill was not putting out spiral chips. This one is because the feed is almost half of what it should be. sharp corner on the hole. See that thread's going about as close as it can go to the shoulder. And that's a big shoulder. Bump into that and it'd be rather nasty. Back up to 3,000 RPM. Parting tool just gets 
in there and do the job. This is the second operation and the 5C collet is gripping on those threads that we just cut. degree FC insert. I don't know why but this lathe makes strange noises with the motor. When it's under load it seems to take a little while to stabilise again once the load's released. See that's not a bad finish but that is what you should get with S1214. Cuts really nicely. Eight millimeter boring bar going into a nine mil hole, chattering like nobody's business. Really horrible. And that's what the chatter looks like through a microscope. When I saw that. I had made about seven parts, so I just threw them in the bin. That's the boring bar. See that mark there where it's obviously been a grub screw? You'd think the bloke that set it up would have used that as an indicator of that's where it should be, wouldn't it? Oh no. Thought it would be uh, supported enough by the aluminium tube around the outside of it. I was wrong. I moved the boring bar in to where it should have been and got much better results. No horrible screeching noises. Just left it as it was, adjusted the Z for the short, shortened boring bar and look at that finish. See, that's probably where it should have been, right on the marks that were there before. If you're seeing what looks like chatter on that shot, you're probably not viewing it full screen. So I took another photo, just a photo, not from the microscope, and you can see there's no chatter there at all. So there you go. Thank you for watching.